Hello everyone, my name is Fox. Intel has released new drivers, the October 1st, 2018 drivers. They include new Vulkan API as well as some fixes. Everything isn't all that great. It's only slightly better in that Dolphin now runs and loads Vulkan. As you can see here, we have Vulkan 1.1.73. These drivers are August 29th, 2018. I like this Seascape demo because it shows just how broken Intel's Vulkan API is is currently and still remains to be you can see that not much has improved on this seascape uh, demo but we are using the latest vulcan api set and the latest intel drivers from october 1st these are if we can see it show up very quickly it's 1.1.83 and performance is pretty much the same there isn't any performance improvements between the two versions on vulcan either for vulcan or directx 12. Uh, OpenGL, the shader compilation memory usage should be lowered in the next driver set. Right now it's just for Vulkan. Here we can see Twilight Princess running. So this is already a huge improvement because Vulkan was broken on Dolphin previously. And as we can see on the left hand side, Vulkan is running uh, Twilight Princess and on the right we have DirectX 11. DirectX 11 is still the preferred method to be running at. Uh, one key thing to look at here is the graphical glitches that appear on the left hand side as well as the power usage is going to be slightly higher still on Vulkan. So still by far we want to use DirectX 11. Um, it's just not ready for prime time yet, although this is by and far, uh, it was totally broken before and now actually runs. So that's a huge milestone. Uh, we just have to hope that Intel keeps on cranking away at these. Here we can see Metroid Prime and it kind of highlights that Vulkan does go ahead and use more power to accomplish the same thing. Um, so while it's great and all, it's just um, a little update that I wanted to show everyone. This is just a quick update. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.